Hello everyone. In today's video, we'll be doing a case study based question from the chapter probability for class 10. So Ruby and Rita are best friends. They are staying in the same colony. Both are studying in the same class and in the same school. During winter vacation, Ruby visited Rita's house to play Ludo. They decided to play Ludo with two dice. Okay. So this problem is related to dice with two dice. And the first question is to win a game, Ruby wanted a total of seven. What is the probability of winning a game by Ruby? That is the question. So when you throw two dice, what are the possible total possible outcomes? With that only we will be able to find the answer for this question. So what are the total possible outcomes when you throw two dice at a time? So when you throw a die, two dice at a time, these are the possible outcomes. First die and the second die both can take the number one. Second die can take the first die can take the number two and the second die can take the number one. So these are the possible outcomes. But now to win a game, Ruby wanted a total of seven. So what is the probability of winning a game by Ruby? So we need to find the sum of two numbers should be seven. So 5 plus 2 is 7. So this is one possible outcome. Again, 5 plus 2 is 7 and 2 plus 5 will be 7. So the next possible outcome. Then 3 plus 4 is 7. 4 plus 3 is 7. 1 plus 6 is 7. And 6 plus 1 is 7. So total 6 outcomes favorable outcomes and total possible outcome is 36. 6 by 36 is 1 by 6. So to win a game Ruby wanted a total of 7. What is the probability of winning a game by Ruby is 1 by 6. Next one to win a game Rita wanted a test sum. So what is the probability of winning a game by Rita? She won a test sum in the same way we have to find out 2 6 again 6 2 so this two outcomes again 4 plus 4 is 8 now 5 plus 3 is 8 and 3 plus 5 is 8 so now total 1 2 3 4 5 outcomes are there so the answer is 5 by 36 next question what is the probability that sum of numbers on both the dice is divisible by 6 or 4 so that is the question sum of numbers on both the dice is divisible by 4 or 6. Let us find out sum of numbers on both the dice divisible by 4 or 6. First is 3, 1. It is divisible by 4. Then 4 or 6. It can be 6 also. So this is the next one. 5, 1. So it is 6. Again, 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. So these are divisible by 6. Then 6 plus 2 is 8. Next, 3 plus 3 is divisible by 6. 5 plus 3 is divisible by 6. Again, 2 plus 4 is divisible by 6. 4 plus 4 is divisible by 6. 6 plus 4 is not divisible by 6 or 4. So, you cannot take that. Again, next number is 3 plus 5 is divisible by 6. 1 plus 5 is divisible by 6. 3 plus 5 is divisible by 4. Then, uh, that's all from this row. Next, from this 2 plus 6 is divisible by 4. Again, 6 plus 6 is divisible by 6. That is 12. Now, so total numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 by 36 is nothing but 7 by 18. When you simplify it, we can see whether it is 14 by 37 by 18. 14 by 36 is not there in the option. So you have to reduce it. Answer is 7 by 18. What is the probability of getting a total of at least 10? That means the number should be 10. Minimum 10 or more than 10. So minimum 10 or more than 10. So first option is 6, 6. 6 plus 6 is 1, 2, 3. 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 or greater than 10. So 1, 2, 3. Again 4, 5. 6. The meaning will not come. So 6 by 36. No, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6.
6. 6 by 36 which is equal to 1 by 6. Again the probability that 5 will come up at least in one die. 5 will come up at least in one die means all the 6 possibilities. Again 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So the answer is 11 by 36. So in today's video we have seen a case study based question from the chapter probability and here what are the total possible outcomes when you throw a 2 dice that is 2 dice we are throwing so 6 into 6 36 that is the total possible outcomes and what are question is given according to that you can write the answer. Thank you for watching my video.